Here's the truth. We're restoring our 1965 Clark Cortez motorhome and we just rebuilt the carburetor and since then we've had a problem after problem. Please start, please start. <laughs> Clutch pedal goes to the floor. Oh. Oh, hold up. Oh, gosh, what is that? That's really bad. Oh. Oh, stop, 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 stop. It's leaking. I'm done with this, Cortez. Like, I'm so annoyed with it. Like, this, I'm not ranting at you. Don't. I'm not in the mood. You said you were done with the Cortez. You called it a hunk of metal. Are you done with it, love? Hello? Oh, you're gonna fix our clutch? Well, I certainly hope so. <laughs> Bye. So let's pick up where we left off. I'm of course learning about all of this and so I'm gonna attempt to recap our situation. We rebuilt our carburetor and then our clutch didn't work. Okay, <laughs> it's okay, you just have to do what? I don't know. Well, we know it's the clutch That's probably wire. What, when rattling. What do you mean? When it, when I think it, you hear when we fired it up, something started battling. The hydraulic line could have failed or something more catastrophic could have gone off in the What could be more gear, catastrophic? Well, that rattling didn't sound good. I think the, the master cylinder or the slave cylinder failed because it was leak. The master cylinder was leaking anyway. So it, we, we talked about changing them both, but hopefully it's that because if it's the transmission, it's going to be a massive job. Excuse me. How much is that in? Down. Oh, hold up. Oh, gosh, what is that? You can see air coming out of it. Is that good or bad? That's really bad. There's no fluid in here. There's like a minuscule amount of fluid. Well, then that's probably what's wrong. But where's it gone in that case? If there's no fluid, it means there's air in it, so we'll need to re-bleed it. We did it when we did the brakes. We're pushing the clutch pedal down. Yep. Just like the brake, keep slow, steady. And yeah. then I'll be like down and no. up. Remember the clutch pedal is heavier than the brake pedal. I'm right. ready. You ready? Mm-hmm. Sure? Yeah. Right. Now? Whoa, that's disgusting. It's, I told you, this is so disgusting. It's like right, thick up. sludge. If that's all there is, if that's the only issue. I mean, there's a bigger issue as in, where did all the brake fluid go? We looked, we didn't have any clutch fluid, so we refilled it. And the reason why we did that is so that we could then identify where our leak was. Okay, down. Oh my goodness, look at that. Feel that sludge oh. coming out. Gosh. Up. Down. Down. Okay, this is pretty much coming through clear now. I think we're good now. Okay, up. Then we had a leak in the master cylinder and the slave cylinder, so we replaced both of them. There's subliminal messages that people see that, oh, he's got the master cylinder because he's the man. People will be like, such a sexist pig. And I'll be like, okay. I'm like James Bond. Okay, how did you hold it again? I just held my hand like, no, no, there you go. You can do this as well. Make a fist, make a fist. Make, okay, there you go. So do I look like I'm holding something? I mean, it looks like you're holding something. You should point to me. Like, yeah, they come. No, because some people can't see because I'm cack aren't I? Oh, there we go. No, I can't hold it that way because of my nipple. Okay, show me again. Okay, switch sides then. 
Duh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's why you earn the big bucks. I came back during the week and had a good look round and actually found that the slave cylinder was leaking. So, here's a new one. We're going to replace this guy today and while the system's empty of fluid, we're also going to replace the master cylinder. Oh, release. I said release. It's okay. I said release the first time as well. And I, I was like, don't say release. And then I said release. Release. <laughs> look at you, you look like a right little Eskimo. I'm so cold, Anne, and I can't figure out where the, my red hood has gone to. Uh, why you need two hoods is beyond me. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do is drain the system because we've gotta get all the old fluid out of the lines. Then we're gonna uh, remove the slave cylinder, replace the slave cylinder. Then we'll uh, take the master cylinder out, replace the master cylinder. Then we've got to uh, fill it with fluid, then connect it to the system. And, and re then just re-bleed it. it just like we did last week. And hopefully there'll be no leaks and everything will come apart and everything. Are we ready to do this? Okay. I'm probably just gonna open this and see what happens. Down. It's very loose. Yeah, it will be because it's uh we're draining it. Uh down. It's down. Sorry, up. It's down. Down. Check. Up. Check. Down. Okay. Up. Check. Down. Check. Up. Check. Now to replacing the slave cylinder. Slave cylinder. There we go. That's it. Oh dear. Oh. Oh well, that's nasty. That's uh, not in good condition at all. It shouldn't be full of brake fluid for one. Oh, the piston just moved by itself. Yep, I'd say that's knackered. This is this nice shiny new one. Just gonna pop a bit of grease in here. One down, one to go, yeah? Yep, just need to nip them up with a wrench and then time to pull the mass cylinder out. It's gonna be a bigger job. Okay. <laughs> Ow! Can you hold that on there? Just make sure it don't fall off. Is yes. it this guy? Is that him? Yeah. Okay. We just need to slowly pump the pedal a couple of times until it goes firm. You need to connect the clutch line to the master cylinder and then check the level and then we can start bleeding the system through. And then when we tried to bleed the system, it leaked between the master cylinder and the fitting, so we decided to replace that. Press down. With it on? Yeah. Okay. What happens? Just air bubbles. Okay, keep going then. Air bubbles is good. Ready? Yeah. Down. Oh, um, something from outside of the master cylinder, it's birded. Oh. Yeah. What? Like, there's not a tight bolt or something. Oh, stop, 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 stop. What? It's leaking. Oh, it's very tight as well. It's a worrying thing. <sighs> right, go ahead and blow it. No. No, no. What? What? This is, nah. We just need to stop. We'll get a crush washer, refit it and bleed the system and that should work okay if it still leaks then we'll handle that we'll handle we'll that handle when we <laughs> we'll handle that when we get there it won't leak again talking about things being replaced we had an old like brittle rubber clutch line and so we thought let's replace this but when we took it off it sheared our hard clutch line so we figured let's replace all of the clutch line we have new lines i also went out and bought some new mounting hardware for the master cylinder because basically there was a mix match of bolts and there was also one missing so we've got some new bolts to just make sure everything's secure and today we're going to bend all the lines install them then re-bleed the system and hopefully have a working clutch. Am I talking or not? Just getting on with it. I mean, I would appreciate it if you just got on with it. <laughs>
quite happy with that. I'm just gonna loosely tighten it in place. We'll have a look, see how it fits, and then we'll make a start of making the second pipe. Good job, love. Well, that took a very, very, very long time, which we spared you the agonizing details of creating that line. And again, it's almost dark, but Andrew, you still wanna bleed the clutch? Yes, please. Okay, so that's what we will move forward to do to re-bleed the clutch. We had a flex line and that flex line also leaked. Down. Shut. Oh, well, 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 stop. Okay, so it's here and at the back, which is annoying. So we'll just nip this guy up. Oh my God. I really am. Do. Turns into a f***ing nightmare. Like, I can't remember the last job we started and it just worked. Nothing ever f***ing goes to plan at all. It's insane. Like, what the f*** are we doing? The line's f***ed. We're going to have to take it off and wait for more f***ing fluid. Whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with like, I'm so annoyed here. Like, this, I'm not ranting at you. Don't. I'm not in the mood. Like, everything we do with this hunk of metal just leads from one disaster to another one. I know. Like, it's never going to be done. As soon as we fix one thing, something else breaks, and it's just going to be that way. It's a f***ing... We are back for our fourth day. We have a new flex line so that if we need to replace it, we can, or we can look at the fitting and keep our original one and get it working. But importantly, what we are back for is a fresh mind frame and positivity. And so, my Brit, last time you said you were done with the Cortez, you called it a hunk of metal? I think the term was heap, actually. Are you done with it, love? Not quite yet, I guess. So you wanna still keep working on it? Yeah, if, if the clutch system doesn't work by the end of today. Then what? That might change. You might wanna get rid of it then? I mean, I'm just saying it might need an extended break. <laughs> Okay, so someone who's normally very positive will hopefully remain positive after today. I oh, see that loose as well. Okay, let's tighten that. I've got a feeling this could literally be five seconds of tightening stuff up. <laughs> a five second fix, come on. For people that have even watched this channel. <laughs> No, like for it, you wanted positivity back. See, look, I could tie that up. Nice. A five second fix. Like, <laughs> that's this, hilarious. This wasn't even broken, I fixed it. <laughs> True. Like, You're so bold. No. Yeah, man. I'm going to go outside and fix the other one. <laughs> and then we're going to bleed it and it's going to work. And then we're going to go home where it's warm. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'll be back. You're I'm so... super pumped right now. You kiss me and pretend that you love me. I know it's all just a facade. Yeah, I need someone to help me fix up this motor home. You think I could do it myself? Hell no. <laughs> I know you couldn't even tighten this up. Please, I could. I was just thinking about how I actually probably would be able to do it faster. Do you want to do it? <laughs> I just think I could. Yeah, it's better than you think, huh? Oh. I can't get in there. <laughs> So how do we test that it's done? Refill it? Refill it and start bleeding it again. Oh, right. How quickly I forget <laughs> the obvious. <laughs> okay, how confident are you? Like 85%. It's pretty okay. good. Yeah, okay, let's do it. 
You ready? Yeah, I'm just trying to see if there are leaks up here. Okay. Down. Ooh, it's definitely harder. Check. Up. Ooh, it's, it's the color it should be. Yep. Are you up? Check. Down. Check. Okay, how's the level looking? Oh, it's pretty good. Hey, can I also see that just if there's a leak over here? Okay, there's no leak in this bit. I don't see anything at all wet over here. Do you see anything wet? Uh, you have to get under the dash. I'm just gonna jump out. There's nothing wet. It's really good. Yep, that's dry. Right. Yes. Let's just check under here if it's the issue. Okay. That looks super dry. Yes. Put the glitch pedal down, please. Check. This looks good. Great. Uh, come up. Check it out. Check. Okay, come up. Press on the foot pedal for me, please. Down. Check. Okay, up. Oh, that's not leaking. This is looking good. The excitement! <laughs> Too excited. Positivity, Andrew. Positivity. I'm positively excited. <laughs> Down. Check. Yeah, it's great. We'll have to see if we can drive it. I mean, that, that <laughs> proves if it works or not, I guess. <laughs> right, okay. So, what's the plan? <laughs> California. <laughs> Let's start with just the garage. <laughs> Bit of an anti-climax. Okay. Right, we ready? Let's see if it fires up first. It's been a while. Gotta get some gas.
Well, we know we've got a bit more adjustment to do on the clutch, but we are considering this project finished for now. And <coughs> oh my gosh! Ugh. Where'd that come from? <coughs> I think it was a cow. <coughs> we are considering this project finished, and that is now going to allow us to complete other projects that we've already started. <laughs> so if you are interested in our Cortez overhaul, please do subscribe, and we cannot say it enough. Thank you to the people that have subscribed so far and are following our journey. We really appreciate we it. We certainly do. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> and we will see you all very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.